Senior projects in Rutgers Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department ranged from a space elevator to an automatic seat belt for people with disabilities. After a year of designing, building and testing, the young engineers practice another key skill, explaining what they had done and why. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. In the student center where 19 teams gathered to show what they'd come up with after two semesters devoted to design and fabrication, the atmosphere was more like a festival than a final exam. Scenes like this have been playing out at engineering schools all over the state, from Rowan in the south to Stevens and NJIT in the north. We want to make sure that they do understand how to work in groups, uh, how to interact with their future colleagues, and most importantly, how to look at problems that they have relevance for the society and how to address them. At one end of the hall stood a human-powered snowmobile. At the other, a low-pressure combustion chamber for synthesizing nanoparticles. There was a device that combined two different ways of turning vibrations into electrical power and another that tested a new idea for underwater propulsion. Several aimed at flight or even orbit. One team imitated the flapping of bumblebee wings. Another set out to replace airplane flaps with shape-shifting airfoils made of smart materials. A precisely maneuverable, lighter-than-air vehicle looked like a high-end, off-the-shelf toy, but every component from balloon to electronics was student-made. The idea of a space elevator is a better way to get out to space than rockets. So basically our project was to design a climber that would climb 10 feet up this ribbon and uh, carry a payload of at least 10 pounds. Other projects were decidedly down to earth. They designed a seatbelt which actually goes across a chest similar to the one I'm wearing but it's automatic so the person with a disability doesn't have to really get someone to help them put it on like I do. In terms of safety, we added the subclutch to the design, which would guard against over-tightening of the belt. It's exactly what engineering is all about. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.